guys, welcome to Griffo's Retro Gaming with me, Alex Griffo Griffiths. And I'm back with another pickups video which is for the month of February and I've done really well yet again <laughs> and I don't know how. Um, I've just been lucky I think because I don't go like trawling the sites anymore. I used to be real bad when I was collecting Pokemon games but yeah, I don't bother checking eBay that much anymore or um, anything like that, to be honest. The shops are shut, so I'm not going around CEX and things like that. This is pretty much purely just from Facebook Marketplace, to be honest. There is a few things I've got from, um, I think, Game Collection and Music Magpie, but I'll go through them in a moment. So a lot of these games I don't know an awful lot about. Um, I've not played the majority of them, I'll be honest. And there's some that I don't know anything about whatsoever. I haven't had time to play them either, so that's another down thing. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll go through them as best I can. So I'm going to start with the Music Magpie pickups. And I got three games from those. Um, I didn't spend an awful lot whatsoever, but... The first game I wanted was Smackdown vs Raw 2008 for the PSP. And it's the first game that featured any of the fighting styles. So you had Sherman, you had Brawler or Grappler, Submission Specialist, things like that. It just added something different to the game, which I really enjoyed. Um, I also think it was the I may be wrong, but I think it was the first one where you could target an opponent's or a certain part of the opponent's body so you could attack the legs if you was Ric Flair and then go for the figure four leg lock to make it an instant like submission if you like. But yeah, really, really good. Especially on the PSP, which you'd think had been rubbish, but it's a fantastic conversion. It's got your 24-7 mode, your GM mode, and yeah, struggle um, submission system, it says as well. Totally forgot about that. Create a wrestler, so in depth, and yeah, I think that was 2 99 delivered. Fantastic. Next up is a game that Retro Bear will be happy about because he goes on about it. And it is Batman, the Brave, and the Bold. But this is for the DS, not for the Wii. So I can imagine the Wii one being better. It'll be better graphically and things like that but yeah it is really good it's got a uh, I think it's I don't know if the Brave and the Bold was a TV program or a TV cartoon I should say it does look very like Nickelodeon-y if you like them sort of um, cartoon style but the game is in that cartoon style as well and it's really fun really fun Um it's a 12 though, strangely. I don't know if I can just focus on that. Yeah, it's a 12 and um, I don't know why because it's probably one of the easiest games going. There's nothing... I wouldn't say there's anything that's... There we go. I wouldn't say there was anything that was controversial or like to make it a 12 but yeah, there, there you go. And you can also make it ridiculously easy as well. I mean, it's easy anyway, but you can make it even more easier. But, yeah, well worth a go if you haven't been on it. And, um, again, I think it was 250 dollars from Music Magpie, so not a lot spent. And finally is an Xbox 360 title, which is Fusion... Fusion? Oh, say again. Fusion Frenzy. And it's a collection of mini games essentially, which you play with your mates. And I've been on the one for the original Xbox, the original Fusion Frenzy, and it was alright. I mean, I only went against the computer. It might have been better if I went against other people, but yeah, it was alright. I think that was one that in answer, so not an awful lot, but I needed it for the collection. So next up is some games that I got from. The game collection, I haven't opened any of these as yet. And the first game is one I knew nothing about. It was really cheap. I think it was free 99 And it's called Fade to Silence. And um, you're in a frozen post-apocalyptic world. And you've... You know, there's... Um, 
it's supposedly got a really good story with fantastic atmosphere as you can imagine because you're just in this vast frozen landscape and you've got to survive against like wolves and things like that um it is horror based as well so you do go against mythical and uh, horror creatures and stuff like that but i just liked the sound of it and for the little price it was happy to give it a go so when i get time <laughs> Uh, next up is Resident Evil Origins Connect Collection. I'm having a nightmare today. And uh, this is Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero. Now, I've never played Resident Evil Zero, but uh, these are remastered for the PS4. I'm not a fan of Resident Evil, the originals, because they were horrible to control, essentially, and that's what put me off. But these remasters may be better, and where better to start than with uh, Resident Evil, the original. And um, I have got Resident Evil 2 as well to play the remaster. So, hopefully, I'll get into that. And finally, was uh, this was under 10 quid, and it's two games. It's Harry Potter, the Lego Harry Potter collection. And, uh, yeah, I'm just a sucker for these Lego, ga uh, LEGO games. <laughs> I'm an absolute sucker for them, and um, yeah, it's so much fun, so much fun. They are repetitive, I'll be honest, but yeah, it, so much fun. And um, I've not played the Harry Potter ones before, so I should enjoy them. Hopefully, um, they're better than, I think, the Hobbit one I played on my Vita, and I was like, it was totally different, but oh, it seemed it at first, and I thought, I don't really like this, but... Yeah, these look like the proper Lego games. So, Chris got in touch with me again. Chris Brockwell, or Brock the 80s dude, if, he, if you've been onto his Instagram. And he said he's got some more games. Like, you know, <laughs> stop doing this to me. But, um, yeah, there's some really good games and some that I wanted. Um, a lot of these, again, I haven't played, so I can't elaborate too much on them but the first game is Batman I'll just take that out of the case for the Game Boy and I've only been on Revenge of I never had this as a kid believe it or not it's uh I have played it on I think I have anyway played it on the NES but I haven't played the Game Boy version um yeah hopefully I'll enjoy that like I say I haven't played the Game Boy version I didn't really it was okay on the NES, it wasn't anything special, so... Uh, the Revenge of Joker on the Game Boy is really good, I've got that. Or is it the Return of Joker? Anyway, it's got Joker on the front, it's really good. So I've got some um, PSP games, and the first one is Football Manager Handheld 2007. I just needed it. For the collection um i may go on it but it's got no instructions he threw that in with a bundle so yeah not a big issue a uh, bit of a boo-boo on my part and that is star wars the force unleashed 2 I've, i'm current or i was at the time i have been distracted by other games but i was at the time playing this i thought i was playing the first one but, uh, yeah, I'll just put it in the trade pile. But, yeah, fantastic game. If you haven't played it on the PSP, it's really, really good. A lot better than I thought it would be. And I was enjoying it. There's a degree of difficulty to it as well. So, um, yeah, you're just a young guy and you're getting trained up by Darth Vader using the Force and all that. Don't know anything about the film, so... Uh, a game I have got on the Xbox, and I haven't played it yet, and that is Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfect. And again, I don't know much about this, but um, it looks okay. I, I think I had a look on um, Metacritic and it didn't get a very good review, but I'll be the judge of that. Another game I've got is Alien vs Predator Requiem, 
And I don't know an awful lot about this game, but it does look pretty good. Although it didn't get very good reviews, <laughs> unfortunately. But it allows you to um, use weapons and your skills as um, Predator. So I don't know if you can be alien, actually. I should have done a bit more research into this, but yeah, it looks all right. I'll definitely give that a go. And finally is Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. And yeah, this looks fantastic. And I'm not a Metal Gear Solid fan whatsoever. I just, it's more the stealth and it's not the game. It's more the stealth and, um, or the story of the game. You know, it's not that that's the issue. I'm just not a big fan of going round slowly and, you know, trying to avoid things. I like to, if I've got a gun, I want to run in and use my gun. So, um, yeah, I'll, I will give it a go, but um, I believe this is different to the other one that was released on the PSP, and this is the one that's more like what people are going to be wanting. It's more like a Metal Gear Solid game, really, with the stealth and things like that. But, um, yeah, I think it's around it's between about five and ten pounds i believe it's the more pricey one from the psp but yeah really happy with that then i got three xbox 360 games they're all by rising star and they're all around 20 pounds and um it's done me a fantastic deal on all these can't remember what it was i think it was around 40 pounds but it was well worth it and when you see what i've got you're like oh yeah so i'll start with the first one which is akai katana and it is a shooter a shmup and just beautiful looking again i, I can't wait to play these three i haven't played them as yet but just fantastic in the way it looks and plays from what i've seen as well um got a hefty manual yeah but nothing with that one the other two have got like uh, other discs and things uh death smiles again it's a shmup um i'd love to be able to do it, it says you can do co-op on this i'd love to be able to do it but i mean judging by the front as well you wouldn't think it was a shmup would you <laughs> but you think it was more a horror game but this comes with um it's the deluxe edition it comes with a desktop accessory so they that might have wallpapers and screen savers things like that although i haven't got a disk drive on my <laughs> mac um it's got the soundtrack and of course the game but yeah i've, I've had my eye on this a while to be honest and um yeah, can't wait to play it. And finally, it's another shmup, but I'll, I'll tell you what, it's under Defeat HD, if you can see that, move out there. And it's, it looks, I'm not saying it is, it looks, from what I can see, like a shmup mixed with, like, if you remember the urban and desert jungle strike games, it looks like that with your helicopter. And, um, yeah, it looks like it's... In fact, it does seem more like them sort of games than a shmup, but you are fight, uh, firing at things. Again, a hefty manual. I really hope it's like them, because I did enjoy the uh, desert and jungle strikes. Urban strike, all right. Uh, soundtrack and digital art book and yeah the game so all complete um, yeah can't wait to get stuck into them and they are the they are on the pricier side of the Xbox 360 games unfortunately so um, they are if you're trying to collect on a budget you are going to have to put your hands in your pocket unfortunately but once you're playing them the, the will I've been told they're fantastic and they do look amazing. Um, just how far shmups have come, they look absolutely fantastic on the 360. So, yeah, cannot wait. One other game I got 
it was advertised on um, Facebook Marketplace, and she was selling a load of 360 games, um, a pound each, nothing that I needed, and there was a collector's edition of a game, and she wanted two pounds for that, and she was like, well, it's a collector's, I want two pounds for that. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely right. And that game is Saints Row 2. And I have been looking at this on eBay and it's slowly going up. Um, you're looking at around 50 onwards. I think the sold listings in the past have been around 40 odd. Um, I'll just show you quickly what's in here. Now, I thought it was going to be a plastic toy gun. And I was so disappointed because it's actually a mould. I mean, it looks nice on the shelf, but I just... I was hoping it would be a plastic one. Um, but anyway, you got the game. There's an art book. And a big poster. I'm not a big fan of uh, Saints Row, to be honest. I think I played three and it was okay, but it tries too hard, I think. And... It's got a bullet as well, which, um, if it'll focus on the... It actually says Saints Row 2 on the bullet. Yeah, well. Yeah, um, this is actually Memory Stick, which is, uh, yeah. It's only uh, one gig, I think, but I, I don't think I've used Ooh, I haven't seen if, any, if he has used it before, actually. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, it's not the type of thing you'd use. It feels really cheap as well, unfortunately. I can't believe it goes for so much, but it's not the best collector's edition. But it's in the collection now, and yeah, happy with it. It will look fantastic on the shelf. And finally is some PS4 games and Game Boy Color games that I got off of another friend called Leon, uh, Leon Higgins. He was actually admin on my Facebook group. He was selling some games off PlayStation 4 games. There were collectors and steelbooks. And again, he's done me a fantastic deal on them. He always does, to be fair. He's, he's not greedy. And um, he's thrown a few extras in. So the Game Boy Color games were free. He asked me ages ago if I wanted them. I said yes, because I didn't have them and I was happy to just have them loose. So, the first one is a US game. That doesn't bother me either in terms of my collection. And it is Shrek um, Fairy Tale Freak Down. And it's a bit of a weird game, actually. It's, um, it's like a fighter, and you're <laughs> fighting against Shrek characters. And uh, yeah, it's a bit boring, in all honesty. Shrek doesn't have any cool moves or anything like that and your opponents seem to always have projectiles so you're constantly jumping over them to try and attack it's yeah then tom and jerry i'll just see if i can get that to focus there we go tom and jerry um this is all right it's a platform game you know you it is what it is on the Game Boy Color. It's never going to be fantastic, but yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. I was having a bit of fun on it. And finally, is another platformer, and it is 102 Dalmatians. Um, another platformer, but you got to obviously rescue the other Dalmatians from each level. It'll have, say, like five that you need to rescue, so you go around and try and find them. Nothing more than that, really. Um, yeah, they're all right, and they're in the collection. So, the big ones. Um, it charged me, I think, 45, but I have easily got my money back on them, but I wouldn't sell them anywhere. So, the first game is a collection. It is um, Dark Pictures. Man of Medan and Little Hope. And um, these are horror games. I think one of them you 
go out to like a lake in place as five of you and you got to survive it sounds really good i was hoping i was hoping it'd be like um the call of cthulhu games which um on the or the call of cthulhu game on the original xbox uh, there's some really cool pins there i've got to admit uh, there's a cloth map and the art book uh, sorry the steel book looks fantastic minimal but fantastic and inside i won't show that there's a code it may have been you so i didn't ask him and bertha games strangely no art book they all seem to come with art books these days but that didn't um i know these a lot of people do like these games and yeah i can't wait to get stuck in i love the horror sort of games then a game I have played and completed is Uncharted 4. Not my favourite of the Uncharted games, but it was pretty good. Um, a nice callback to uh, Crash Bandicoot as well, which of course Naughty Dog made. Um, it comes with an art book, which is really nice. I don't think he's ever looked at it. <laughs> I don't think he's ever looked at it, so... Yeah, and the steel book, which is beautiful, really nice. And inside we have uh, loads of codes, which I won't show you. There's some stickers which are still sealed, and the game. So yeah, it's not my favourite, but I I thought that um, Uncharted Three was a bit it run its course in my opinion. I know a lot of people won't agree with me but um, I don't think it got any better than 2 which was fantastic. The first one was good as well. So yeah I don't think that's overly expensive and you can find I think this is one of the games that CEX will do the special edition at the price of the normal one so it's not too difficult or not too pricey if you can find it in CEX. It may be hard to come by but uh, last one is The Last of Us Part 2 and I've started the first one and then never played it again. <laughs> it's not because I didn't like it, I just, I don't know, I, I get too easily distracted. Um, it comes with an art book, obviously. Uh, Steelbook's nice as well, I don't know the name of the characters so I do apologise. But... Um, a code as well again i don't know if the codes have been used and yeah it comes with a data disc and the play disc as well obviously a massive game so i need to i have got um the last of us remastered on the ps4 as well so i can play them both on the ps4 which i really should do i know everyone goes on about them uh only downside is a little bit tearing there but nothing major so really happy with those and he also threw in some steel books uh, one of them I wanted which was Fallout 4 um, I'm currently playing through Fallout 4 at the moment and it comes with the poster of your abilities when you level up and some really nice postcards as well with some really nice art on it uh, not the best Fallout game by a long shot, but yeah, I'm trying to complete it, trying to get a platinum on it. Uh, just put those back in there. But yeah, lovely, lovely steel book. Uh, threw it, there's nothing in this, but it's Wipeout. So if I can find the disc, then I've got a lovely steel book for it. I don't think there is. And then, probably the best steel book of the lot is uh, Dark Souls 3. And, um, yeah, it's all indented here. It's really, really nice. And inside as well, there's... He's even left the soundtrack in. There's uh, a bit of advertising bump. And a Prima Star Guard as well, which... Uh, Really nice. So, 
Leon, if you're watching, thank you very much. I will treasure those, and I'll try and track down the um, disc only of the game. I'm sure I'll be able to find them on eBay for next to nothing. So, yeah, thank you very much for that deal. And that's what I got. I'm really happy, obviously. Um, what I got was more than what I paid, to be honest, and uh, really, really happy with it. Um, I'm approaching 300 on my Xbox 360 and my original Xbox collection, so I may do a collection video of all the games. I'll have to do the Xbox 360 as my um, original Xbox games are all in uh, little disc sleeves. So, yeah, that's something I may do just to, you know, celebrate. But... Yeah, I just want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think to some of those games and what the best bargain was. But personally, I think it was the um, Saints Row. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon with another video. Take care.